go there at Dillard's at Mama St. Matthews. Local. Oh, nice dinner bread. Interesting brain right there. See it? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> guys I just got home from Louisville <laughs> unfortunately only found three or four elevators in the mall I'm gonna have to check my video see how many elevators I filmed probably three <laughs> so it's not really a long one and I have a quick question for you guys if any of you guys own one of these, let me know if this is normal or my turntable is defective because I have a Victrola from 2017. There it is, December 2017. And I've been dealing with this. Uh, turntable vibrating problem and mainly happens on 78's 
let's see if it still does it. So, come on, can focus, please? Thank you. Lift that arm up. I'm going to set that up. See? It's freaking vibrating. My phone's on the turn t on the chrome pole, the turntable, and it's freaking vibrating. <laughs> I know that's defective for sure. Well, well, so or no. If any of you want, uh, any of you own a record player and see this, I want what that is for. Try getting the turntable straight. I got some good news and some bad news about this player. Good news, that's not the only record player we, I have in this house. Bad news, <laughs> um, it's probably the only record player I can probably have right now. I don't know if I'll be able to get the one downstairs. Um, the TX from 2001 and the turntable still works on it. No vibration problems or nothing. I don't know if you can hear the turntable. Oh yeah, and some squealing. Yeah. So basically what I do with this record player is say, well pretend just just pretend there's a 78 on here. And pretend I put this down and put this back up. I put it down on the record and then I'll turn it on to play it. So that I won't mess with the turntable's um, alignment, I guess. That's probably one of the ways you can prevent uh, uh, moving your turntable while it's moving. <laughs> Especially if you have a similar problem to me. I don't know if that's because or the screw is the screw back there ain't and screw it all the way or my thing's defective if it is I'm probably gonna need to get a replacement <laughs> although that's the only problem I have the CD player the radio the is very small this commercial the aux works I don't have anything well I have that plugged in that's your second aux the CD, although it did go out on me two times, turn the volume down. Oh. oh, there's no CD in there either. I was gonna say, you see, I get worried if it says that <laughs> until I open the disc tray. <laughs> the cassette player works too. that off and looks like that's about it for this video only three or four elevators in this opera so I'll see you next one peace